Hi there. Have you ever been in a situation where you wish to convert measurements? Like, let's say, you want to convert kilogram into pound, or you wish to convert mile into meter, or maybe you wish to convert a degree Celsius into Fahrenheit, or vice versa, or any other measurement. If you have been in this situation before, then the convert function can come for rescue. The convert function is a very powerful function and very simple to use. It can convert 13 different categories of measurements. So we have a weight and mass category, we have a distance category, we have a time category, we have a pressure, force, energy, power, magnetism, temperature, volume, area, information, and speed. In each one of these categories, I have different units, so I might end up with over 90 different units, and here is the abbreviation that I'll be using in my calculation. If you want to follow along, you can download the exercise file from my website page, www.officeinstructor.ca forward slash social dash downloads. Let's say I would like to buy a house, and I was given the measurements in feet, and I'm not very familiar with this type of measurement. I've been always using meter. So here I'm going to select the category. So I'll click on the down arrow and I would like to select a distance category. And I create a dependent drop list. If you want to learn how to create this kind of dependent drop list, you can just watch one of my tutorials about dependent drop list on my Facebook page. So I would like to convert foot, I'll convert it to meter. And look at my label, it's also dynamic. It combines the values that you see in cell C2 and cell D2. Now I would like to convert these measurements from feet to meter. I'm going to create a convert function to convert whatever distance I have, whatever measurement I have from feet to meter. So I'll type equal convert and then I hit the tab key. What would you like to convert? It asks me about the number that I want to convert. I want to convert the number to my left and then I hit comma, and then I need to type the from unit, then I'll type it in double quote, FT, and then double quote, and then comma, and the two unit, I want to convert to meter, so I'm going to type it in double quote as well, double quote, M double quote, and then I close bracket, and then when I hit enter, I got the conversion, I can click and drag to copy it down. So I was able to convert the measurement in column B from feet to meter. And here my number has two decimal places in my next example, we'll take care of that. Let's see another situation. I would like to prepare a certain recipe and I have all my recipe in gram and I would like to convert it in pound or maybe vice versa. I'll be using the weight and mass measurements for the convert function. So I'll be typing equal convert and then I hit tab. What would you like to convert? I would like to convert the contents of one cell to my left B15 and then I hit comma and here I have the units in a separate cell so I'm going simply to click on this cell and I'll lock it because I'll be copying there and then I hit comma. I want to convert from gram to pound. The abbreviation for pound is LBM so I'm going to click on this cell as well and lock it by hitting the F4 key. Close bracket and hit enter and I got what I want. I could reduce the number of decimal places by going to the home tab and click on decrease decimal but for now i reduce the number of decimal places before copying because when i copy it will inherit the new formatting and here is my conversion i converted whatever i have in, in column b from grams to pound now let's see another situation what if you would like to convert the temperature from fahrenheit to celsius I'll be creating a convert function as well. I'll type equal convert and the convert function is asking about the number you want to convert. This one is coming from cell B24 and then I hit comma. I can select the measurement from this list but because I already have these measurements in the cell above, if I select the cell above C23 and lock it and then hit comma, I want to convert from Fahrenheit which is abbreviated as F. You can type F in double quote and it should be capital and then I'll be uh, converting to Celsius so I can type double quote C double quote or I simply select this cell and lock it and then close the bracket and then hit enter. So after creating my convert function I would like to decrease the number of decimal places 
And to do this, I'll go to the Home tab and click on Decrease Decimal. And then I'll, I'll copy this formula down. I was able to convert the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Using the Convert function, you can convert any measurement to any measurement. My advice for you is to download the exercise file from my website, www.officeinstructor.ca forward slash social dash downloads and you can practice on using the convert function. Thank you for watching and see you in our next tutorial.